Musk said it only cost Tesla 10 grand to make an Optimus robot, and he's planning to sell them to customers for $20,000. That means for every 100,000 sold, Elon makes a billion bucks. Pretty wild, because he said he plans to make billions of Optimus, turning Tesla into a $25 trillion company. Building a humanoid robot isn't like putting a Model Y on the assembly line. It's obviously a lot more challenging since it's AI. But Elon keeps saying Optimus is going to cost half the price of an electric vehicle. So what makes it so affordable? Welcome to Tesla Car World. So in order to have the robot not cost like hundreds of thousands of dollars, in order to make it cost like you know, 10 or 20 thousand dollars. The truth we can't deny is that robots still haven't gained widespread acceptance among most people. In our opinion, the main reason for this is the lack of achievements or evidence proving that they're only truly useful for customers who've got the money to spend. No one's trying to shell out 20 grand for a robot that functions like a toy that just moves from one part of your house to the other. Now, some ballers might be buying it, but the majority of us aren't. From a certain perspective, we see that Boston Dynamics Atlas has been highly regarded for its agility. It's one of the first robots to convince people as it's demonstrated the ability to do complex tasks like parker and transporting goods, skills that most robots, including the Optimus, still can't do. However, its high price tag, around 150 Gs, equivalent to two Model S cars, makes it pretty inaccessible. That's part of the reason it hasn't gotten traction and essentially been shelved despite being developed over several decades now. And we're not just talking the Atlas, it's tough to find any robot priced under 50k, and that's what makes Optimus stand out. Elon's mentioned at least three times that the price is going to be half of an electric car, with Tesla making it for just 10 grand. It, it is expected to cost much less than a car. I'll just bring so, it directly to the right here. Uh, I would say probably less than $20,000 would be my guess. When talking about a price tag at $20,000 for something in Tesla, it's really unbelievable and there's no guarantee that Elon can maintain this price when he's always the person who breaks his promises about timelines and the amount of money that customers have to pay. But for Optimus, we have a basis to believe this price when almost all the expensive tech on Optimus is not purchased from suppliers, meaning that Tesla will transfer a lot of things they do from EVs to their humanoid robots. Uh, relatively speaking. so. Tesla has the production capability, it has the engineering capability, and it has the AI hardware and software capability. Um, and even the most optimistic estimates that I've seen for, for Optimus. Reusing existing manufacturing components allows Tesla to cut their costs in making Optimus much more quickly than other companies once again giving Tesla the edge in the race. Efficiencies gained from making robot cars and automotive manufacturing robots will immediately translate into the humanoid robot project. That's exactly what makes Optimus affordable. From the perspective of a robotics company, Tesla's got the right tools and talent to assemble the robots cost effectively. They've got the engineering expertise, the AI, the hardware, and the software to make it all happen. According to Carpathy, who was still at Tesla when Optimus began, Tesla conducted a significant amount of research into self-driving tech and has become one of the most advanced autonomous driving systems out there now. All the knowledge gained and artifacts created while developing self-driving technology are getting transferred to the robot. This is what makes developing a humanoid robot so expensive. So it's not surprising that Tesla's bot can get priced lower, especially among manufacturers. Truth being, only Tesla has the best potential for scaling up their production. Tesla's got large factories, battery production lines, and companies that don't need to get built from scratch. Elon also emphasizes the importance of having some of the world's best electrical engineers in areas like drive systems and electric motors, as well as power electronics for developing Optimus. This is why the company can spend just 10 Gs to produce it and bring Optimus to a market price of $20,000. Taking a quick look at Tesla Optimus, because besides being just a humanoid robot, most of us just don't know that much about it. Now, there are a few types of robots out there right now, including robotic arms that are used in electric vehicle production and robotic dogs, with each robot designed for specialized tasks. Optimus, however, is getting developed to address the growing labor shortage by providing a potential alternative for manual labor. In the latest Gen 2 update, Elon mentioned that he envisions these robots having applications beyond industrial settings doing household tasks, the boring, repetitive, mundane jobs that you just don't want to deal with. Taking all human standards into account, Optimus is arguably the most human-like robot compared to much of the competition. It's got a standard height of 5 foot 10, weighs 138 pounds, and features a fully articulated hand with five fingers, something very few robots achieve. 
The heart of Optimus will be a conventional lithium-ion battery pack. While Tesla electric vehicles typically have battery packs from 60 to 100 kilowatt hours, the robot's battery is going to be much smaller, with Tesla sharing it's only around 2.3 kilowatt hours. Optimus Vision System is equipped with a variety of sensors and 8 2D cameras to see its surroundings, allowing Optimus to identify objects in their real world while navigating the environment without colliding into other objects. In addition to deploying thousands of these robots in Tesla's factories, Elon emphasizes that the goal of developing robots is to serve millions of households, doing things like cooking, mowing, caring for the elderly, educating kids, and handling any other household chores. While it's easy to envision scenarios where many people might lose their jobs to these robots, we often overlook the benefits that manufacturers gain with each robot being deployed in Tesla's factories. According to analysis from Deutsche Bank, assuming a manufacturing worker earns 62 grand a year while working 40 hours a week in 2027, Tesla could save almost $32,000 by replacing them with a robot. Deutsche models suggest that replacing just 10% of these workers could lead to annual savings of $141 million. If the same worker continues with the company and earns close to 73 grand a year by 2030, Tesla could save $57,000 by putting a robot in their position. Repeating this process until 20% of the workers are replaced could result in a savings of nearly $510 million annually, Deutsche Bank noted. What Tesla accomplished with robot in just three years is very impressive. They've shown the robot walking smoothly around the office in a video demo, demonstrating Optimus maintaining balance while doing squats, sorting blocks by color, and putting 4680 battery cells into trays. Tesla showcased Optimus picking up eggs without breaking them. Some footage even shows Optimus Engineering's team training the robot to fold clothes and put basic items on shelves. All this demonstrates that Tesla's working hard to train Optimus to do tasks in the most useful way possible, something that most humanoid robots out there today, at least for now, cannot achieve. And so, then, so the simplest possible version of a humanoid robot that can do even most, perhaps not all, of what a human can do is actually still, still very complicated. It's not, it's not simple. It's very difficult. We can confidently say that Tesla's come a long way in a short time, making progress in developing robots in less than three years. In contrast, Boston Dynamics has spent decades creating their robots with similar capabilities. After retiring Atlas Gen 1, Boston Dynamics quickly introduced Gen 2, featuring many impressive changes. The original design of Atlas was bulky, but with Atlas Gen 2, it's adopted a more sleek design, featuring longer limbs, a straighter back, and a distinctive round head with lights. However, it differs significantly from the Optimus, which maintains a more human shape, closely resembling a human with features designed to mimic human characteristics. A notable difference between the two robots lies in the actuation systems. Atlas Gen 2's transition to an electric drive system, moving away from hydraulics, characteristic of its predecessor. This change not only reduces noise and maintenance requirements, but also enhances safety. Compared to Optimus Gen 2, the Atlas Gen 2 appears to have the edge in speed. Atlas Gen 1 was one of the fastest robots, capable of running, jumping, and doing impressive flips. Although specific speed metrics for Gen 2 have not yet been disclosed, its design suggests it retains the agility of its predecessor, as it can stand up and move quickly towards the camera. While Optimus's mobility has recently improved, it's clear that further upgrades are still needed. Perhaps Tesla will have better specs for its Gen 3. In terms of commercialization, Boston Dynamics has announced plans to bring Atlas Gen 2 to market, starting with partnerships with companies like Hyundai. This strategic move indicates a clear path towards integrating Atlas into applications, showcasing its capabilities in industrial environments. While the price of Atlas's Gen 2 has not yet been disclosed, it's expected to be pretty high, similar to its predecessor, which was around 150 grand. Another company Tesla needs to watch out for is Figure AI, particularly with Figure AI 02. The Figure 2 robot demonstrates impressive capabilities, including a human-like hand with 16 degrees of freedom and a production-ready design. Recently released, Figure 2 shows smoother movement and better functionality compared to Figure 1 operating effectively in real-world environments like a BMW factory. This progress is notable as Figure AI only got founded in 2022, allowing the company to quickly leverage modern technologies. Additionally, Figure AI has partnered with tech giants like OpenAI, Microsoft, and NVIDIA, giving them crucial advantages in AI development. This collabo enables Figure AI to produce advanced humanoid robots more quickly than older companies like Boston Dynamics. Optimus and Figure AI 02 share several similar specifications and have somewhat comparable appearances. 
Their battery capacities are quite alike. Optimus has a 2.3 kilowatt and figure two at 2.25 kilowatts. Figure two can go for five hours on one charge. Optimus lasts up to eight hours. Both Optimus and Figure 2 have multiple cameras and advanced sensors, allowing for exceptional visual systems. Thus, the year after next is likely to be the year of the humanoid robot race, and as of now, Tesla still holds the advantage in pricing. However, there's no easy path ahead, as Elon candidly stated that creating Optimus is extremely challenging and there's still a lot of the tech that needs to be developed. Right now, Optimus may struggle to navigate complex terrains, but it eventually will pick up and be able to move across different types of surfaces and pick up objects. The robot's speed is a significant limitation in convincing people, as it only reaches 2 miles an hour, which is kind of slow. But this is just the current spec. The ultimate goal for Optimus is to get a speed of 5 miles an hour. Now that may take several years, Tesla is determined to reach that. Additionally, Elon acknowledges that Tesla still requires much better technology for Optimus's components, especially the hands. According to Elon, the hands could account for nearly half the overall electrical engineering technology of Optimus. And that's not hard to understand, as much of human's intelligence comes from our ability to use our hands to manipulate objects in the real world safely and effectively. Since Optimus is designed to emulate humans, creating a human-like pair of hands is essential. The motors are located in the forearms and cables are used to control the fingers. Before Tesla engineers attempted to place the motors in Optimus's hands, making the hands a bit large and bulky, lacking strength and flexibility. So Tesla decided to put the motors in the forearms, mimicking human functionality, and that's been a lot more effective. Now, it's still too early for us to assert the role of Tesla Optimus. You might think it's kind of underwhelming right now, but it's important to understand that this tech's still in development. Why criticize something that's not yet even finished? It's not even on the market right now. Tesla will continue to improve, and we believe it will be capable of performing like most humans within the next 5 to 15 years. And after that, we truly think it will be worthwhile for the price we pay. Many have assumed that creating something like this is simple, but as we mentioned, making a robot is anything but easy. Just the hands alone present a challenge, not to mention the new tech innovations that even haven't been invented yet. In terms of cost, these robots come in various versions. You've got Gen 1, Gen 2, and Gen 3. Gen 1 will be used in Tesla's factories, Gen 2 sold to customers, and Gen 3 is going to be a more premium version that can do a wider range of roles. As Elon stated on X, Tesla will genuinely have useful humanoid robots in low production for Tesla internal use next year and hopefully high production for outside companies by 2026, meaning Tesla is eventually going to commercialize their robots for big companies that are facing labor shortages like Amazon, FedEx, and Walmart. We think there are a ton of factories that are going to spend thousands of dollars each year on Optimus to take over tasks currently done by humans. So that kind of sets the price range for these things, probably about half the cost of a car. Tens of thousands of dollars for each customizable version, the price is likely to drop as Tesla ramps up production to tens of millions of robots. Obviously, going from thousands to millions of robots is not going to happen overnight. Elon mentioned that Tesla wants to offer both rental and purchase options for the Optimus, while the rental service will launch sooner. There's been a long-standing version of the humanoid robots in homes, however, we're still quite a ways off from making that a reality. There are plenty of reasons for that, including safety ones, like the potential for robots to harm humans if misused, as well as the economic factors. Like any groundbreaking technology, humanoid robots come with their own set of challenges and ethical considerations. The potential replacement of human workers raises concerns about job security and unemployment. Striking a balance between human employment and automation will be crucial to ensure a smooth transition. Ethical considerations become especially important when robots are used in sensitive environments for personal companionship. As these robots get more advanced and capable, questions arise about privacy, consent, and ethical responsibility will all inevitably arise. The initial use cases are likely to be in industrial settings where human labor is exhausting, expensive, and hard to come by. These are the environments where robots can get fine-tuned and optimized while still performing productive work, generating revenue, or cutting costs. Again, this is an era where Tesla's got the advantage over its competitors. The company has big factories where it can deploy Optimus without need to sign complicated agreements with outside partners. Elon has laid out a bold vision for the Optimus robot, expecting it to change the way we live and work. The combination of advanced technology and low production costs allow Tesla to offer these robots at an affordable price along with enticing promotional programs. If successful, Optimus could be more than just a consumer product. It could become a companion that enhances the quality of life and frees people up from boring, mundane, and downright dangerous tasks. Despite the many doubts and challenges, the progress Tesla has made with Optimus in such a short amount of time has put them at the forefront of the humanoid robot field. 
The combination of advanced technology and production capabilities helps Optimus become an integral part of daily life for people in the future. So, we want to ask you, the viewer, and by the way, thanks for watching, what do you think is the most important aspect of developing a humanoid robot like Optimus? Is it the utilities, the mobility, the AI, or the ability to interact with us humans? Hey, thank you so much for checking out this video. And if you did find this content helpful and want to check out more exciting videos about Tesla's EVs, make sure you click the like button and share this video. Also, be sure you're subscribed to Tesla Car World and make sure your notifications are turned on so you never miss out on our latest videos. Seriously, we update them sometimes twice a day. With that, we so appreciate your support and hope to see you back here in the next video. Again, thanks for watching. Take care, stay safe, and God bless. Bye.